little camera to be <laughs> I could pinpoint the exact moment that your spirit left your body and then came back in. All right, that's a good way to start a video. Chad's a good sport. <laughs> <laughs> he just falls down. <laughs>
these coin sets of all nations. These are all filled up with foreign coins. I thought that was kind of cool. Molly North for president, Q104. If you're from Kansas City, you know what that was all about. Some neat old bottles there. Beer tray, some really old snuff bottles. What the fuck? Apparently. Okay. It's got a USB C plug in it, so pretty new, I guess. Um, a lot of glass, art glass, Native American stuff. More art glass there. Nice coffee grinder. Some really old lanterns. This is a porcelain rice sign, I believe. Whatever that is. There's a fishing toilet. Yeah, sure. If you're going fishing, you can take that. If it was that important to you. Budweiser box. Um, down in the case, looks like some more coins. <coughs> Neat boxes. Oh, please. Choice stuff there. Empire Strikes Back, Rebel Base, modeled, it's a nice chair, mid-century chair. These chalk statues are nice. This is a really cool piece. <laughs> then we go down here, and look, there's no tag on this, but this is a neat old Work apron, nice Sears Fieldmaster tag there. Ollie North for president. Shirt, Michelob clock, light thing, Coors, more Coors, a lot of Coors, a lot of Coors. These are neat. Neat lights, Christmas light, or mid century. Table light, another Coors one, like a Greek looking thing. These chalk, I guess they're chalk. No, maybe those are real, like water buffalo. I saw this at the bottom, but that's felt. Pyrex. Talk about any of this stuff? Yep. Hi, everybody. 
Hi, Chad. Uh, nice Crocs. Nice Crocs, especially these with the uh, more elaborate blue slip, I think they call that. When they do that as a nice western. Yeah, a little purple paint on that one. Just to be turning up paint. Spilled <laughs> paint. Uh, pretty vintagey okay, mad I'm magazine. Out of here. Okay, I'm done too. I'm done too. I'm so worried. Just kidding. So, what you want to talk about this? Um, we already did. Oh, okay. I just, it's, it's cool. It's old. It's I just real. thought somebody's gonna brush against it. And it's gonna go falling down and smashing those. Well, maybe. So here's some uh, some vintage clothes, I think. Some vintage furs. Right there, I mean, I don't know what that is. 80s, 90s, maybe. Carhartts don't look like they've ever been worn. It's a Carhartt sweatshirt. And printed, not really looking for printed labels on stuff. Oh, Banana Republic. Which shows you, like, because they made this, you know, to look like some sort of vintage, you know, kind of parka or workwear. These are nice, that's a very nice quilt. A very, very nice quilts there. Uh, let's go, let's, let's go back over here. Over here first? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's try. Come on, come on. Come on, go do it. Go do it. <laughs> <laughs> Did not work. Did not work. It's almost funnier it's the old, second uh, time. Enterprise Philadelphia coffee grinder. Has a little adjustment key there, which is nice because you don't usually see those on them. Um, like soda fountain stuff. Nice porcelain bins with the pumps. And the old root beer taps. And there they go. <laughs> Oh, and all those carts back there. So we got to, we'll what? probably figure those out tomorrow. Those carts like we sold last week. Oh, those were sold? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't really know today. But we're, no, we're selling more if there's more. Okay. So it's like some sports stuff, vintage stuff, some art pottery. And uh, this little cake thing, these are nice. Nice little glass stuff here. Um, picnic basket. Then we get over here. I thought that was kind of cool. Mark Goob's on Smokey the Bear. Late 80s, early 90s. Bunch of stamps. A um, bunch of reference books, sports stuff, there's cards in here, neat old ads, a uh, cool little Viewmaster. Um, yeah, all this neat stuff. There's Mark Twain's birthplace. These are some parts of uh, it's like bomber jackets and stuff, suspenders, I don't really understand. Just a funny little box, license plates, primitive stuff, there's some old ammo in there. Um, Bunch of uh, insulator reference books, which I didn't even know, really know there was a thing. Military books, there's some vintage roller skates back there, some Chiefs hats, um, Flintstones game. This was supposed to go somewhere else. We'll figure that out. How about right there? Um, more toys and more old books and stuff and sports stuff. Um, that's really cool. 
it's very old and very fragile. Um, primitive stuff, more model cars, uh, L STP welcome race fans, vinyl sign is kind of neat. All these car magazines, a uh, couple of big insulators here. It's a neat old change machine, um, red wing butter churn. Then there's stuff on the floor. We don't really need to hit hit it all again, but mainly like books and VHS. This is super sweet and good shape. Can't hardly sell these anymore, but look at that. Please. So nice. So clean. These are a bunch of uh, like posters from inside of albums. What one do we have here? Da -da -da, the Guess Who. Um, more books. That's cool. Ship's Wheel Clock. Part of a crazy quilt. Um, more books. More old ads. More books. 78 records. All these cool covers. Look this up. Audubon's Birds. Um, more 78s on the floor. Uh, then we switch over to 15 here. Nice stuff. Silver plate, nice glass stuff. Art pottery. <laughs> um, you get the picture on that. Let's see what we have over here. Look at all this. All that coming out. We still have to get it away. Put it away. Um, some artwork. Some cool stuff in there. Maybe some not so cool stuff in there too. More glass and porcelain and uh, art pottery. Or do you want to walk in close on that side and I'll go on the other side, you think? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. A lot of stuff over there to pick up, you guys. Come on, it's not a freaking bank. All right, some more china and cut glass, cut crystal. There's some depression glass. Um, so, yeah, that kind of stuff. You gonna be able to get through? Yep. Okay. Over here, I'm starting to straighten stuff up a little bit. Here's a nice uh, expanded metal table. Um, more chairs, more stuff from the church. More trunks. If you look at any of our stories on Instagram, you'll see people buying like a dresser like that and totally paying 50 bucks for it, which that'll probably sell for $10 down here, and then redoing it, flipping it, and selling it for like $1,800. So do like they do. <laughs> There's a bow system, a little end table, I'm not sure why it's so cluttered back here. We may or may not get that all straightened out by the time. Um, a little water cooler, patchwork quilt, neat old roll top desk. Do not close this because this locks automatically and you're going to have to figure out your key situation. Um, okay. Oh geez, and we're over here again. Burning our way through this stuff. Uh, I know some of it's done really well. Like there's a bunch of Francoma, there's vintage beer stuff in here. Like these could be something. I don't know. Oh, I'm stuck. Quotations from, from Chairman Mao. Sweet. Is that uh, this week? What? Nice yeah, yeah, there's a Subaru sedan coming up next week. I can't remember what year it is. Not this week, next week. 
and all this stuff. You can just kind of graze over that. A lot of it's been here before, like a lot of beer glasses. And, you know, pretty cool stuff, but we're just, you know, it's not selling. These, all of these boxes of records are, for the most part, pretty good. They haven't been polluted with a bunch of Jim Neighbors and Andy Williams and Bing Crosby. And all these 45 records. Uh, 15, 20 boxes of 15 probably. Then these neat, uh, like, Japanese models, then some U.S. Not U.S., but Revel and stuff like that. More of those it should do pretty well. This stuff over here, um, necessarily know about. Those are kind of cool, I guess. Um, that's kind of neat. Bunch of cats, bunch of vintage cats in here. And there's some military, military stuff in here. It's kind of cool. A little piece of furniture, a record cabinet. Yep. Okay, this will need to be all, get all squared away. <laughs> Look at this. Nice. Um, it's kind of set up here now. Some mic stands, kick drum stand, kick drum, kick drum mic stand. More of these carts, these hospital carts, the book carts, whatever. Um, none of this stuff. This is all going back until next. More uh, Coors and other brewery and Coca-Cola stuff over here. We'll do the wall or go to the table. Wall. All right, some more uh, beer stuff. Somebody liked it. Out of some cooler stuff, man. Maybe it's Joe Montana stuff. Joe Montana was part of Coors for a while. Did yeah. you know that? Uh, you did. No. I knew. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's consigned to number five. He needs a little extra spending money. Definitely. I actually don't really know who that is. You know, you know who Joe is Montana it? is. I, mean, I don't know what team he's on. Uh, I'm gonna go with Knights Templar maybe with that cross on there. Okay. Um, that. Kind of cool. This dude. Ducks having a bad day. The lone wolf. I like those. Not any, any numbers on those. I think it's uh, nine right here. Oh, nine. Okay, I, I see. I see what's. I'm picking up what's been laid down here. Oh yeah, this here. This plugs in. But we gotta unplug it every night. Let's just turn on. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Cool. But when we turn off the lights, it does not turn my off. Hey look, it's more floor stuff. There's seven up and stuff in there. All sorts of stuff thrown in. I would say that this might have Skelly gas. It's like CEOs, old pictures. I guess nothing too. Well, hmm. That's that should be a good. That should be a good box of stuff there. Uh, more beer stuff. Jumping out. Beach Boys in concert. Monkeys, monkeys. Yeah, there's a piece of good stuff in there. The Boons. Dukes of Dixieland, Four Kings Country, Party Time, Seven Wolf. Okay. Uh, shaft. Dang, heck yeah. There's cool stuff in there. Nice big TV. These are nice. Like cross swords and then the number 426. Those are really nice. More records. Heck yeah, there's some Led Zeppelin. More Beach Boys. Oh, there's nothing in this beach, boys. There's Andy Williams. <laughs> Boy, did Andy Williams put out some freaking records. Ballad of Green Berets. More Star Wars. A lot of Star Wars last, last few auctions, huh? Yep. Treasure trove there, probably. <laughs> Dude, this is gonna be some good stuff. Oh, sorry, you're still over here. Sorry. So. Okay, what? I mean, there's some nice china here. Uh, had some more talkie, then some nice vintage uh, 80s toys over here. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Nine's been busy. Good. About damn time. Hey yeah. now. No. She's stressing me out. I'm happy for number nine. <laughs> Number nine. 
walking through here? Do you want to come back here? Yeah, let's keep going through here. So I think the world speaks for itself what these things are. These look like early 70s. Coleman's. Um, we already did those quilts. We've got more ephemera and stuff on here. <laughs> rats? Huh. Not rats, just chat. Oh, huh, okay. jumper and these shirts I'm not sure exactly how this, these will sell probably just like straight stacks there's some vintage chiefs and royals you know most of them with paper tags This little funny, cute little area. I don't know exactly how we'll sell all this. But you got <laughs> He Man by the fire with Barbie. <laughs> Check him out up there. Who did this? Johnny West or whatever West is up there drinking out of a salt and pepper shaker. Cali, I think. That's awesome. <laughs> I know. I don't know how we'll sell it, but we're going to leave it sitting like that. I like figure it. Figure it out when the time comes. This is probably a pretty nice piece. I'll go on the other side. Okay. More cool caps. Uh, probably going to be some McCoy over here. This. Probably a pretty, pretty good piece. All right, where are we going on vacation? China. No. Oh, shit. No, we are going to Bangladesh. Yes, we are. I'm freaking in, dude. All right. <laughs> Play vacation. Work party. And it looks like we'll end the night with some e walkage. No. I wonder if these are like kind of sweet. Collectible. Does it have a date on the tag? Made in Korea, 1984. Whoa! Dang. Wow, this one says "Made in Haiti, patent pending." So, oh, yeah, whatever this, that means. This one's different too. Huh? This one is Kenner. Weird. Do you need a patent to make little Ewoks? You know, I'm not sure on all the politics of it. Okay, I'll, I'll do a good Trying to find a date on this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, they, 1983, dang. All right, that, cool. could, that could be something. All right, Cute. guys, well, uh, thanks so much for uh, tuning in. Please be sure to subscribe and like and uh, comment below and do all that good stuff and we will uh, see you soon. Bye.